Hey there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on uh, factoring. I like factoring. Factoring is a human's way to defeat nature, mathematical nature. Okay, so factoring really in this clip I'll give you wh why we factoring in the first place and give you two quick dirty ways that would solve most of the factoring problem your teacher throw at you and if you want to read more on factoring or get yourself a little more prepared you can go on to my math channel it's uh, Tucson T-U-C-S-O-N math doc I'm a math doctor and I live in Tucson. I know the name is kind of boring, but that's the best that I could come up with. Anyway, so uh, as promised, why do we factoring? Well, factoring, first of all, what it is, it's just a fancy way to say, look, if I have two train cards that's adding and subtracting each other, and look at this one, there's three train cards, they're all adding and subtracting each other. What I want to do with factoring is really just get them to be a chunk, multiply another chunk. And that's it. That's what all factoring is. Changing, adding, and subtracting train cards into multiplication train cards. And why do we do that? Well, when we multiply something equal to zero, it's a, it's a lot easier trying to find where, what the solution is than trying to do adding and subtraction. Okay, now, how do we factor? Here's a quick, dirty trick number one. you got to recognize this one. A squared minus B squared is A plus B times a minus b. I call this trick dirty method number one. Uh, think of yourself as this is your two siblings. You're related, one is plus, one is minus, but you're different. Different square is related, but they're different. Okay. Now if you're not convinced this is one, multiply it out. You have a squared minus a b plus a b minus b squared and the cross term conveniently disappears. Okay, so think of yourself as you and your brother. My two kids are sister and brother. They're related, but sure they're different. Okay, so that's trick number one. Let's use that trick number one on the first two problems. We have a squared plus two a, the whole thing squared minus sixty-four. Okay. No matter what your teacher threw at you, think of this one as how do I conform it into the difference square? Well, first one, it's already in the square form, so we like that. And the second one, I'm going to shrink into 8 squared, which is 64. Now, all of a sudden, I have the difference square, which is two siblings, right? So I have the first term, minus 8. I'll make sure this term is the 8, okay? Times first term plus 8 and then you're done. Remember this chunk was subtracting this chunk and now this chunk is multiplying this chunk. Hey, you know what? We just factored it. Okay, let's try number 2. 36 and to the fourth minus oh big messy one to the square. 3m squared plus 7mn. Okay, if your teacher throw this one on the test, don't panic. Get into the square. Uh, well, not 8. 6. That's a messy 6 here. 6n squared. I'm going to square the whole thing. Okay, when I square the whole thing, I have 6 squared, which is 36. n to the fourth, because n to the square is squared again, it's n to the fourth. Okay, so I have a 6n squared, the whole thing squared, minus this big, messy, ugly thing. Okay, and then I'm going to have two siblings again. 6n squared minus the 3m squared. Now, be careful with this sign. It is actually minus 7mn because minus this whole thing, adding it, you know what, let's just do that. Okay, 6n squared. Because on the test, I always tell my students, slow down because you don't want to lose the points that's rightfully yours. Okay, kind of like the kings and queens in England. If you are next in throne, grab the points. Okay, so what I did is here, first term minus second term. Now I'm going to get rid of this uh, parenthesis here by changing the signs. Now I do make a lot of work by writing it all out. But you know what? In the end, you get all the points you deserve. And that's worth the work. Okay. So we successfully used the trick number one, finished the first two. Now next one is actually one of my favorite. 
think of this one, you're looking for two friends. Okay, when you multiply them together, you get 25. When you add them together, you want 10. So kind of like two friends, you can't live without them, you can't really live with them because they drive you crazy. So you're looking for two numbers, when you multiply, you get 25. When you add, you get 10. Well, 5 and 5 fits perfectly. Okay, once you get those two friends, you hang on to them for your dear life. And that's the answer. And we factored it. All right, that's how we solve those factoring problems. Hope it's clear. Please leave me a comment on YouTube and let me know how you liked this or if it helped you. Until next time, have a confident day.